Welcome everybody to the seasonal diet, eating what our ancestors ate when they ate it like we were evolved to do. We have been touching on testosterone lately and how we can take back the high testosterone levels that our ancestors had. As I've covered in other videos, when we look at world testosterone populations, there doesn't seem to be any common diets and lifestyles that are going to just push our testosterone through the roof. Truth is that you find high testosterone in all kinds of places in the world, in the most strange places you didn't expect. See my video I did on that earlier in the week for more info. The main point I make is there isn't a whole lot of diet and lifestyle changes that we can do to send our testosterone levels through the roof. Yes, of course, we can make some changes and it will increase it a bit, but there are not any natural <laughs> supplements that are going to double the T levels, for example. To really increase our testosterone to levels that our ancestors would have had just a couple generations ago, it seems like all the research points to more what we need to get out of our diet and environment to reclaim this. To reclaim a more natural existence that has not been possible in the West now for a long time. Today we are speaking about the endocrine disruptors. These are chemicals that can interfere with our endocrine system, and the very system responsible for regulating hormones in our body. So we're going over the five most common endocrine disruptors that you are probably ingesting into your uh, body every day some way, and we're discussing some easy lifestyle changes to minimize our exposure. First one, phthalates. I'm probably saying that wrong, but these are a group of chemicals used to make plastics more durable. Found in many plastics, cosmetics, personal care products, and they are notorious for their hormone disrupting effects. Tips to get rid of them. Pretty simple. First, avoid all makeup and cosmetic pro uh, products. Most of you ladies out there are pretty enough as it is okay. You know, our ancestors did not need three pounds of makeup to put on their face to walk outside of the house every day, and you don't either. And if you're a guy, try to get your lady to stop wearing that stuff too because you're kissing her and just being around her, you're going to get exposure to some of that on your body too. If you absolutely must use makeup, Try to get phthalate free personal care products. Look for labels that specifically mention that. Next one, you all know this already and it's difficult, but do your best to reduce the use of plastic containers for food and drink, especially when you're heating it, since heat can cause these things to leach out. I know it's hard, I like to warm up some quick food in a Tupperware, but at least try your best to avoid things like that, and you know, drink out of glass or metal or water bottles to try and minimize that, um, yeah, the, the, the food you eat out of plastic containers and just minimize this harmful endocrine disruptor. Next one, BPAs. BPA is commonly found in plastics and resins which can line food cans and water bottles and is also an endocrine disruptor. Luckily this is a lot better labeled in stores so it's easy to buy BPA free things. Um, to avoid these things, pretty simple, you can use BPA free bottles and containers you know, glass and stainless steel are safer alternatives for storing food and beverages. We already spoke about this. Try to avoid plastic in general, but if you absolutely must carry a plastic water bottle around with you or some Tupperware, make sure that it's BPA free and that is pretty easy to uh, find labeled in stores. Also, a lesser known one, avoid canned foods if you can, uh, because many cans are lined with um, BPA materials. Also things like metal jar lids and bottle caps can contain this BPA, so always be on the lookout for that. Number three, pesticides. Not all pesticides, but certain pesticides used in agriculture can act as endocrine disruptors, mimicking or blocking hormones in the body. This can affect a few things uh, for our health and testosterone. 
tips to avoid it. Try to consume organic produce to reduce exposure to um, pesticides. Um, this isn't the end all be all. Best thing to do would be to grow your own food yourself or forage it wild, but organic is the next best thing. If budget is a concern, prioritize organic options for what is called the dirty dozen fruits and vegetables uh, because they are known to have a higher pesticide content. This list here is the dirty dozen. So if you can't buy all organic food, at least try to make sure that these food items here come from organic farms. That's a little uh, tip. If you are still too poor like me and you can't afford much organic things, the very least you can do is wash your fruits and vegetables thoroughly to remove surface pesticides as much as possible. Rinsing produce in warm water for at least a minute or longer can help reduce these pesticides. It's not going to eliminate it completely, but it's a completely free method uh, to reduce this a little bit. Next one, I'm not even going to try to say that, PFAS. PFAS, they are used in a wide range of consumer products for their water and grease resistant properties. And that is in the non-stick cookware, even waterproof clothing and some food packaging. Tips to avoid this. Avoid non-sticking cookware. Uh, get things like cast iron pans or stainless steel or ceramic. These are often a real pain to clean, but it's a small price to pay, so I definitely try to get those materials for my cooking tools. Uh, be cautious, though, of fast food packaging and microwave popcorn bags especially, which contain uh, PFAS. Uh, cooking and eating more meals at home can reduce exposure to this. This can also be found in clothing, carpets, and even fabrics for lining furniture. This is definitely a pain because these things are not going to be labeled usually, but if you do really want to make an effort and get into it, you can look for PFAS free products. So that is a whole extra video in itself to where you can find these things, um, but it's important so I will do a video on that. Last one, parabens. Widely used as preservatives in cosmetics, pharmaceuticals, and some foods. Uh, parabens can mimic estrogen in the body, potentially leading to reproductive issues and an increased risk of certain cancers and of course lowering testosterone levels tips to avoid it we already went over this um, don't use any cosmetics but if you absolutely must try and get paraben free cosmetics and personal care products also being mindful of food packaging and processed foods which contain parabens sometimes eating fresh unprocessed foods um, can help reduce this exposure as for the pharmaceuticals that contain parabens, I'm not in a position to speak about that. I personally do not take any, even if my doctor recommends it. Maybe it's not a great idea, but I don't even like to take uh, Advil or Tylenol, and I don't take any pills really besides a multivitamin. But of course, many pharmaceuticals are life-saving things, and they are needed, so you have to take them. In some situations, I'm just saying to make a conscious decision about it. Do your research, speak to your doctor, avoid things that you don't need, and take only what is absolutely necessary. So if you're one of those people who pop a painkiller for the smallest headache, or if you have to take an Adderall to have a bit more focus throughout the day, or God, don't even get me started on diet pills and all these miracle weight loss things, those are probably not the best idea. So that's about it, you know, in our modern world, complete avoidance of all of these endocrine disruptors might not be entirely possible. You see all the hoops we have to jump through just to make a dent in it, but our ancestors and still many places in the world today do this automatically, it wasn't even a thought for them. But with informed choices and proactive lifestyle changes, we can significantly reduce our exposure and safeguard our health and hormones. So that's about it. More videos on this coming soon.